So for this class, we're going to be using a little bit of a different way to communicate with me. Often in many of your classes, um, you'll be used to having either a bulletin board on Canvas or Blackboard where there's for, for Q&A, or the professor might ask you to send emails. I'm gonna ask you to not send me emails and not use the, um, and not use any uh, bulletin boards on, um, on Canvas or on um, Blackboard, but instead we're gonna be using this Piazza um, platform. You can find a link to Piazza um, on the Blackboard or Canvas homepage. You can also um, just go to piazza.com, P-I-A-Z-Z-A. -Z -A. Um, but I've found that it is a much better way for me to um, organize class Q&A because for one thing, um, I don't always check my email as frequently as, um, as I do Piazza. I also um, find that emails from students used to get lost and this way they're all kind of um, <clears throat> excuse me, in one central area. And the last thing is that Piazza for many of your questions gives you the chance to have your peers answer the question also, if it's a general question about the homework or, or a question about a problem. Um, and I think it just works really great. And you may, you may hear back much more quickly than, than you would otherwise, if you were just emailing me. For those of you who don't want to watch the whole video and learn everything you need to know about Piazza, I will give you the bare bones stuff that you need to look at. Um, here is a, uh, a test students um, a view of Piazza and they can make a new post. They can post a question. They can choose to post it to the entire class or instructors. I include you, encourage you to use the entire class um, if, uh, if that's appropriate, um, whenever that's appropriate, because if you have a question, um, and you post it to the whole class, you may get a response very quickly. For example, I don't know if you can see it down here, but it says anonymous answered, what is a set in 39 seconds? Um, so that's pretty good. Um, of course, I was also anonymous, but anyway, we'll ignore that. So what you do is you say, I wanna do a, a question, I'm sending it to the entire class. It is a question um, that should go in the week two uh, folder of questions. The summary is, um, I don't know uh, what is a um, tuple and the questions say, I'm confused about the difference between a pair and a two tuple, help. And you can, um, when you post, you can say I'm posting as a test student you know, here's my name, which is test student, or you can post anonymous to just classmates um, or anonymous to everyone. That would be anonymous to me, the instructor too. I'm gonna post to um, anonymous to classmates and I will post my question. So here is the view of a classmate. They have one unread post, what is a tuple? And it says, I'm confused about the difference between a pair and a two tuple help and this student could answer if they want and say they're the same thing. And they can leave their name on there. They can be anonymous to classmates. They can be anonymous to everyone. They don't want anybody to know the answer, to know who posted, even the instructor. And they can submit. And I, as the instructor, can come along. And if I hit reload, um, I see that I haven't read what is a tuple yet, and I'm gonna say that this was a good question and this was a good answer, and my answer is just going to be, see the students answer above, they are the same. And I can submit that. And the first student can hit reload and magic they got a note that said it was a good question and they can see um the different answers okay so that's the very brief intro if you want to see more details and see really what does the instructor see what does the student see all these kinds of things um and uh, a little bit more about creating your account etc then um then uh keep watching You may have received an invitation to sign up. 
Um, if you did, great, use that. If you didn't, you can just go to piazza.com and click on Students Get Started, and you can search schools, Rowan University, and the class you're looking for is Foundations. Look, there is my Foundations class. Um, join as a student. Um, it's going to ask you for the class access code, the access code for um, uh, this class. Um, is, uh, well, I'll make it slightly harder for those watching the video online. It's our area code. Okay. Um, so now here's what happens, what it looks like when you log in initially to Piazza. Probably by the time you log on, there will be, um, more posts, but, um, right now there's just one unread post, which is this welcome to Piazza, and it gives you some information about it. Um, you can look up here along the top and you will see that there are different posts. You can, you can um, filter by week one questions, week two questions, week three questions. We can get rid of that filter. Um, you can also, if you click on the, uh, on the asterisk here, there's a bunch of different kinds of things you can look for. You can look for instructor posts. You can look for questions that you're following. Um, I use this unresolved a lot, whether there's a question um, for me that hasn't been um, actually resolved yet. And you can also search for a particular um, topic or, you know, maybe you want to look at the things that have been posted for week six. Well, there's nothing for week six yet, but, um, you know, one day. Meanwhile, you the more important thing you want to know is how to do a post. So there are a couple of different kinds of posts that you can do. You can, um, you can do a post that is a question. Um, if you need an answer, you can post a note. If you don't need an answer, you can post uh, a poll if you really need a vote. Um, and here's where it gets interesting. You can post to the entire class or you can post to just me, the instructor. Um, and so what I encourage you to do when you have questions, and I'm going to post this one under Piazza Practice, you need to select one or more folders that you're going to post this to. Um, and I'm going to post this particular one to um, both week one and Piazza Practice. Um, actually, no, I think I'm just going to do it to Piazza Practice. And my one line summary is going to be test post to entire class. And I'll write, hi class, this is just a test to see who can see this. Um, can you tell me what day class starts on, right? And show my name as test student, fair enough, that's my name. And I can preview my post if I want, or I can post my question to the, um, to the board. Now, as soon as I post this to the class, if you look on the faculty side, right, and also on the um, student side, I get a list in red of stuff that I haven't read yet, right? I can also just say, show me the things that are unread, right? And so here is my um, unread. And on here, there's a couple of places um, that I can put stuff, right? So the student asked me a question, right? And I can um, type an answer. So I can type things like, um, please look at the registrar's website, right? Um, so for example, here's another student view. This is my test two student. Um, and the student called test two um, has two unread posts. Um, and one of them is the welcome to Piazza that everybody gets. And then there's this test post to the entire class. And um, here's the post that student one posted, right? And I can see it was posted by test student. Um, and, um, and I can also sort of edit an answer like um, class actually starts on Tuesday, right? And I can edit this answer and other students can update and, and um, edit my answer too. So now if I go back to look at what um, test student sees, oh, okay, I'm not quite sure why it's not showing me that I don't have any unanswered questions, but if I go back and I look at anything that's been updated, oh, look, um, 
so test post to the entire class has in fact been updated. And if I look at this now, I can see the information from, um, from the other students. And I can also just get rid of all the filters and see everything that's been posted today. And um, before I can also um, filter by say, it, it, it dynamically changes what folders it shows up here based on what was most recent. So I can click on Piazza Practice and it shows me that. Or even if that weren't up there, if I were looking at week two, I can also type Piazza Practice here and it shows me the um, classes that, uh, sorry, the posts that are under um, Piazza Practice. Um, the other thing that you can do is you can do the same thing. You can do a new post, um, but you can make the new post. Um, I'll do a question again. I'm going to post it to the entire question, but in entire class, but instead of um, showing uh, the post at the, everybody knowing who I am, I'm going to make it anonymous to classmates. Um, and that would make it anonymous to my classmates, but my professor could still see it my name, or I can make it anonymous to everyone, right? So then the professor doesn't even see my name. And the summary can be, um, you know, what is a set? And the details can be, I didn't um, study my discrete material, and I don't know what a set is. Please help. And I can post the question. And oops, I need to pick a folder though. Let's make it week one, right? And now I can post my question to the, th the whole class. And now if I look at that from here's test two student, right? I can um, hit reload. Where's reload? I had to use, here we go, Explorer. Can you believe it? I reload. Oh, look, and there's a new post here, right? What is a set? And as a student, I can answer, Dr. K said you should retake down, or discrete if you don't know that, right? And I can post that as, um, let's say, anonymous to classmates. And if we go and take a look at what the professor sees, um, here's the new what is a set. Um, question and I as the instructor could write um, yes you really should retake discrete structures first and submit but if you look the post was anonymous and even as the instructor I can't see who posted it um, and but the answer it said updated one minute ago by test two which was anonymous to classmates. And I can also kind of take a look at what was the question history, right? So anonymous asked the question and then um, test two updated it. And if 50 people update it more, I can see that too. Um, so that's kind of a very quick overview of Piazza. Um, it's not hard to use. Please use it. Please ask me all the questions there.